welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, my butt. Oh, okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol and this is Sway Generous Makeup. Today I wanted to play around with makeup a little bit. I always say that. Why is that all that I have to say? I really have to come up with something new. Okay. I want gloss. So today I woke up inspired. Um, I saw a picture from Vanity Makeup. In case you guys don't know, go follow her on Instagram. Um, she is amazing. And she posted a look and I was so inspired by it. So I woke up this morning and I said, I wanna do it. I wanna try and do it. Of course, you know, with my own little touch and I don't even know what color lipstick she put on. I just put whatever I felt was right with me. But the eyes were totally inspired by her. I used the Lip Cosmetics Litter in Champagne, I believe this is. Champagne Wishes. Very beautiful. This is what it looks like. So it's mostly very neutral colors, actually. I used the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and it looks like this. I have a couple of cool tones. And once again, I use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, which I am loving. It's, it's, it's looking really, really nice. I think that this foundation might be good for all skin types. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. Um, I feel like my skin can breathe. It looks pretty natural. It's not completely matte, which I absolutely love because I love more of a satin finish. It's not completely matte and it's not completely dewy. So I think it's good for both oily and dry skin, which is an A plus in my books. I put on the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, which I love very, very much. It's, all, it's been one of my all time favorites. If you notice, I have a backdrop. This is something that I've been looking into for a while. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I know that it can get crazy expensive and I was not willing to spend a lot of money on this. So I actually went to the fabric store and I bought some fabrics. Um, and I had a lot of fun choosing some. I got some really cute ones, which you guys will see in future videos, but I know that I have to iron it. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your neighbors, share it with everyone. Show a girl some love. And you know what? Let's just get right into it. I'll just be modeling there a little bit for you guys. But anyways, I'm picking up this shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the Smith 232 brush. I'm going to apply that shade to the upper crease and this is my transition shade. With the Smith 235 brush and this shade from the Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eye and blend it into the transition shade that we just applied. With the Smith 253 brush and this beautiful um, pearl color shade, I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I'm picking up the same 235 brush and just blend both the pearl color and the brown color that I just applied. With the Smith 242 brush and this deeper brown shade, I'm just going to go right over that um, previous color that we applied on the outer corner and just bring it back into the um, crease and also apply more of that pearl shade and just keep blending and blending and blending. With the Morphe M506 brush in this deep burgundy shade, I'm going to apply that very precisely right on the outer corner of my eye. Again, just to deepen it up a little bit more. With the Morphe M224 brush, which is a concealer brush, and the Lit Cosmetics Champagne Wishes Glitter 
and the Lit Cosmetics glue, I am just going to very carefully apply the glitter to the lid of my eye, just all over the lid. Picking up this shade from the Chocolate Bar palette and the Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush, I'm going to just go right into that crease area to just deepen it up a little bit more. Picking up this highlighter from Wet n Wild, the Golden Flower Crown, and this Morphe E36 brush, which is a detail brush, I am going to go right into the inner corner of my eye. With the NYC liquid liner, I'm going to very carefully line my eyes. This is a little bit more difficult, especially when you're doing it over glitter. So you have to be very, very careful and very, very precise. That is why I prefer a liquid um, eyeliner as opposed to a felt tip or, or a brush or anything like that. I just think that liquid eyeliner works better over glitter. Taking the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and applying it to my beauty blender, I'm just going to pounce that baby on my face and just blend away. Just looking a little bit closer and making sure that I really get that foundation into my skin. Taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, I'm just going to correct my under eyes and clean up the eye makeup at the same time. And with my RCMA translucent powder, just set that under eye. Applying a coat of mascara to my lashes with the Better Than Sex mascara. And with my Tarte Cosmetics Double Take Liner, I'm just going to tight line my eyes and also line my waterline. With the Morphe E16 brush, and that deep burgundy shade from the chocolate bar palette, I am going to apply this shade to my lower lash line and really blend it out. Picking up the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder in light with this Real Techniques brush, I am going to very lightly bronze and contour my face I didn't want it to be too harsh, so I thought that the shade was really perfect. It just gave it a soft contour. Picking up the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes and just applying that to my eyes. I love these lashes because they are longer on the outer corner and it really makes my eyes pop. With the Smith 112 brush, and the same highlighter that I applied previously on my inner corner, I am just going to highlight the highest points of my cheeks. Picking up the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Push Up, I am applying that on my lips. I thought it was a little bit too pinky, so I went over it with the Colored Rain Mars, which is a little bit more mauve -y, and I went right over that. Um, I like how this one looks better with the eye makeup, and after that, I did apply lip gloss over it because I'm feeling more of a glossy lip now 
than a matte lip. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope if you guys try to achieve this look at home that you're able to do so with this tutorial. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your subscription. Thank you guys once again. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell notification button so like that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I appreciate you. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.